looking to leverage Instagram to grow your YouTube channel and your social media brand, I'm here to teach you how you can upload using a desktop to Instagram. Here we go. Now the holy grail of Instagram is all about your phone, which I don't have in my hand. Wait one sec. This wonderful beauty powers most things, including Instagram being very native to that device. So if you are a desktop user like me, you might want to figure out how you can schedule out in advance and promote and push your pictures or even videos to Instagram from a desktop computer. Let's jump to my desktop itself. This is my Instagram account. Most of these in my profile have been uploaded from desktop, whether it's IGTV or whether they're pictures. Why? Because you may have a custom image that you have on your computer that you want to share, but you don't want to download it onto your phone and send it through. Or you may be doing some graphic work that you can't do on your phone natively. So you want to make it something unique. Or in my case, this video here, for example, is me hitting 8,000 subscribers and it was a boomerang video and yeah, I can do that on a, a mobile phone, but when it came to, say, the other pictures, I scheduled them out using a little tool called Hootsuite. Now, Hootsuite is free, no matter what you see here, right? You can upgrade for 10 social media profiles and unlimited scheduling and stuff like that, but you'll see down here, try our limited free plan, which is three social profiles and 30 scheduled messages, one user. So that's what I use. I don't pay for Hootsuite at this point in time. You can sign up and there's a sign in form and that kind of thing, right? I'm just simply going to log in. Now, once set up in my dashboard, you'll be able to see kind of what's going on on all of your Twitter profiles and Instagram and mentions and Facebook pages, but you don't need to focus on that, right? What you need to do is go to the top right hand corner, right? And you'll be able to add your social medias, so manage social networks. So you'll see here, this is where you add your account. See that I've already got my three accounts added for the free account, but you can keep adding down here, right? And if you've got a paid version, you can have unlimited. So here we are back in the dashboard. For you to upload anything directly to Instagram, you click new post. It will pop up this lovely screen where now you can pick what social media networks from the ones that you've just added you want to post to. We'll go click on the business, which was the Instagram account and it populates it up here. You type whatever you want in here. This is the main body of your actual Instagram post. This is no different than adding it on your mobile phone. You can upload a picture just like any other way from your desktop using this link here or you can use the open media library where they give you some images that you can use. I'll use the open library for the demo purposes here. Now that pulls directly from Pixar Bay, which is a free service, which I've even pointed out previously in some of my free stock photography, free stock videos. There'll be a link in the iCard. Now, you'll see here that on the right hand side, it dummies up how it will look on Instagram. So you can see how it, on the left hand side, you can go down and you can scale it if you don't like it by clicking add Im uh, edit image. Now on the left hand side, you'll see that you're able to change the dimensions. Why? because if you're doing it to multiple platforms, you might want to edit the image so it is you know, good enough for all. They've got some defaults here, so they've got your square for Instagram, your landscape. So if I click on square, then it drops something that I can drag and drop over and I can crop accordingly. Or if I'm going down here, I can do stories or portraits. You can have a look at Facebook images and Twitter images and LinkedIn images, Pinterest, etc. So it helps you generally scale what you're looking at. Click save and you'll now see that the preview on the right hand side has changed itself once again just a little bit. Now you can on the left hand side add additional images or you can add your location. So in here it will add you know your location and geotag it once again which helps with people finding you. If you want to post straight away, you simply click post and it will push it straight to Instagram or you can schedule it. On the schedule, you pick a date and time whenever you wish, right? You can do it in advance, whatever you want. You choose your time, you choose your date, you click done, click schedule. And you will see on the publisher on the left hand side, under the planner section, you'll see if I scroll down, there you go, that's my post, scheduled for a set time. 
and I can edit that whenever I want as well. For more Instagram tips, check out the playlist here. Go out there, start creating.